we find friends that are not in the fire. What a great way of doing This is an introduction function of one of uh, the men of God who went and did missionary work in Uganda. He, he has his uh, daughter being introduced, the person who is going to marry. So this is Bishop Ronald Kaiwa here at this introduction today, July 3rd. 2015. Uh, it's such a wonderful thing. You can see some people dressed in traditional dresses around here. Um, uh, I'm Bishop America well with, with, with my wife here. And we are kind of blessed to be, be part of this amazing amazing incident which is taking place today today um, remember as you are watching this beautiful thing which is taking place to go on ministering to god.com and get my book ministering to god keep your prosperous life church food is god's power miracles wonders and signs um it is quiet somebody today. He, he, he did some work in Uganda. He loved you. What a blessing to see you. That's my blood. <laughs> I mean. Yes. Yes, please. You can hear that music in the background. Walking around. Yeah, yes, he is, he is, he is the, he's the one who is married. So, it's quite something. We can see what's going on here. It's a blessing to be here today. Just introduced. This is beautiful because it combines United States with Africa. Watching such a beautiful ceremony. Remember, you can reach me on 224 4400 6992. 224 And you can also go my website a blessing to see this man of God the way he has done this because this as you see the amount of correspondence people coming together in a very unique way very very unique way they look so nice Beautiful day for this amazing, God-loving people. 
people you see over here. What brought us here tonight, now we can see it, which is in front of our face. You can't go wrong. And because of your beautiful family, we came to deliver an apology. But we want to go beyond that. The reason why this young man who splashed water on such a beautiful woman, it did not stop only in being mad, but as God made it, they fell in love. And the purpose of our trip, and even ending up here tonight, in your family's backyard is to ask your daughter a hand in marriage. Well, I wish if you had told me that ahead of time. <laughs> Anything to do with uh, marriage takes a while because we have to make sure that uh, both families have had a chance to consult and they think we will welcome you at a different time so that we can uh, plan accordingly. In reference to your request, we really appreciate that that you, you love to see us here tonight, and also we understand that you want to welcome us another time. But we are asking as a forgiving family, that you have already forgiven us. Also, that we have understood the values of your family, that you allow us and give us a chance, a chance this family will never regret to have your daughter give us a hand in marriage. Because that day, Water was splashed. It is a day that was made by God. It's not this young man. Well, we told you from the beginning that we're a very welcoming family. We know you've traveled very far away. And uh, 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 some of our people have told us that uh, the area where you came from is actually flooding. 
And as a result, we have a lot of room here. You might as well spend a night with us, celebrate with us. And then when the right time comes, we'll welcome you again. We'll give you guards to escort you back to where you came from. And when the right time comes, we'll invite you so that we can now uh, discuss in details in terms of your request. We really do appreciate your generosity to extend somewhere we can sleep, somewhere we can stay until the flood gets out over our area. However, we want to tell you that because we understand the values and cultures of this family, we came loaded. And because we came loaded, we came with a lot of gifts. Gifts of forgiveness, gifts of appreciation, and gifts that shows that we really appreciate your daughter. We really appreciate this family for raising this wonderful, beautiful woman. And we are requesting that don't send us away before we really extend that as your daughter considers a hand in marriage with our son. Well, I can tell that you're very insisting. But we, this family, we value every gift, small or large. And we've always exchanged gifts as families. So we thank you for your generosity. And uh, we welcome those gifts. And uh, feel free, you're at home, stay relaxed, and uh, we'll share food and drinks. And then uh, when the right time comes, we'll invite you back to, to talk in details in reference to your request. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate that. Not only appreciating that. Because you have accepted the gifts, yeah. I'll ask some of your elders or all uh, to come because some of them are heavy, some of them are cows. Because they are, you know, some cows come from Ankole, some cows come from Rwanda, some of them actually we got them from Sudan. Uh, we have a lot of heavy chicken from all over East Africa. Our truck is loaded with goats and sheep. So, I want really to take people to inspect this and see whether they are worth the gifts to this family. Well, let me see if uh, some of our elders that may go and inspect those gifts. Thank you very much. Inspecting some of the gifts right now. Very interesting. They are inspecting the gifts. That's what's going on right now. And they, 
and as you can see, the Ada is inspecting the goose. This is Bishop Leonard K. I'm trying to explain to you what is going wrong. Bishop Leonard K. was worried of evangelism healing worship center. That's where, uh, remember also to go and find my book, ministerintogod.com. But I'm trying to bring you this thing. It's amazing. Uh, it's done.